So here we have question number six on transformation using a scale of two centimeters to two units on both axes. Draw on a graph sheet two perpendicular axes OX and OY for the interval negative 10 to 10, negative 10 to 10 on both axes. So let's do that. We draw our axis the x and the y axis so we now indicate the scale 2 centimeters to 2 units on both axes then the next thing we do is to graph draw on the graphs on the same graph sheets we have to draw a quadrilateral a b c d with vertices a at 2 4 so A is at 2, 4 here, then B is at 2, 8, so 2 on the X axis and 8 on the Y, y axis, they will meet here. Then we have C, 8, 8, so A will be here, B will be here. C will be 8, 8 this year. Then, so you can you can do something like this. Fine, no problem. Then, the final one is D84. 84 is somewhere here. So we have D, we have A here, we have B here. So we are supposed to draw. quadrilateral so we have to connect the we have to connect them so you remember to label your axis so we have to connect the vertices to form this quadrilateral that they want us to draw now the second one the BII says the image of A1 B1 C1 D1 under a translation by vector negative 5 negative 2 so negative 5 negative 2 so a will map on to a1 so a is having coordinate 2 4 now if you apply the translation the translation and then a prime a1 will have 2 plus negative 5 then we have 4 plus negative 2 so a1 will now have coordinate negative 3 comma 2 then we b which is having coordinate 2 8 2 8 will map onto b1 which is 2 plus negative 5 then 8 plus negative 2 so that will be having negative 3 comma 6 and C with coordinates 8 8 will now map onto 8 plus negative 5 then 8 plus negative 2 so that will be 3 comma 6 and finally D 8 4 will map on 2 8 plus negative 5 4 plus negative 5 which is having coordinate 3 1 So we plot this point A is A1 is negative 3, 2, which is here. Then we have B1, so A1 is here. Then B1 is at negative 3, 6. Then 
then we have C1 at 3, 6, 3, 6, so 3, 6 will be here, so that will be C1, and we have D which is 3, 1, 3, 1 is here, so D1, so we connect the points as well, so we are done with the I, I then we have the I, 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 the image A2, B2, C2, D2 of A, B, C, D under reflection in the line Y axis where A maps onto A2. So A maps onto A2, A2, 4 maps onto A2, reflection in the Y axis. So we negate the X coordinate to become negative 2, 4. So that negative 2 for will be yeah. So that is A2. And then B mouse on to B is 2, 8. And to mouse on to B2, which is negative 2, 8. So B2, negative 2, A2, B, N. B2. Then C2, map onto negative 8. C8, 8, 8 maps onto C2, which is negative 8, comma 8. So negative 8, comma 8. Negative 8, comma 8 will be here. That is C2. And finally, D2 will be negative 8,4, which is here, D2. So we connect them, and we have this. Now we're told that what type of quadrilateral is ABCD? So ABCD is a rectangle. Rectangle. So C, I rectangle find the gradient of line segment a to b1 so gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so a2 is having coordinate negative 2, 4. So this is x1, y1. Then b1 is having coordinates negative 3, so x2, y2. So 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4 over negative 3 minus negative 2. So that will be equal to 2 over negative 1, which is equal to negative 2. End of paper. So thank you so much for joining us. Come back for the paper 1. we will be solving it and uploading it on this channel as soon as possible.